PDF.js is a library that allows you to render the contents of a PDF file on an HTML5 canvas element. In this quick tutorial, I'll introduce you to some of its most useful methods and objects. Let's get started. First, we'll create a new HTML5 file. I'll call it index.html. Then, let's download some PDF file. Wikipedia currently allows you to generate PDF files, so open any article on it. Scroll down a bit and click on this download as PDF link. Then press this download button. After the download is complete, make sure that your HTML file and the PDF file are in the same directory. This will make it easier for us to reference the PDF file from the HTML file. Ok, we can start writing some code now. You are free to use any text editor you like. I am using gedit, the text editor that's available on Ubuntu by default. Here add the HTML5 doc type, then the HTML tag and then a head tag. And finally a body tag. We need to add a script tag pointing to the latest version of pdf.js now. This library is hosted on several CDNs. I prefer using JS Deliver. So here, just type in pdf.js and look for the pdf.js dist option. As you can see, Mozilla is the author here. In this page, just select pdf.min.js and then press show and configure all links. Now select the HTML output option and then press copy all. Back in our code editor, just paste the script tag in the head section. As I mentioned earlier, pdf.js helps you render PDF content on an HTML5 canvas element. So let us create a canvas tag inside the body of our web page. I'm going to call it my canvas. Next, create a script tag. We will be writing all our JavaScript code inside this tag. pdf.js has an object called pdf.jslib. It offers a method called getDocument using which you can asynchronously load any PDF file. So I'm going to say antarctica.pdf here. This method returns a promise so you must add a then call here. As you may have guessed this doc object will refer to the PDF file once it is loaded. Let's try to do something simple with it first. So let us try to print the number of pages present in the PDF file. To do that, we will need to print the underscore PDF info dot num pages property. Let's see if this works. So if I open my HTML file in Mozilla Firefox and go to the console, I can see that my PDF file has 30 pages. That's good. Back in the code editor, let us try to render the first page of our PDF file. To do that, we must call the getPage method and pass 1 to it. It is worth noting here that pdf.js starts counting from 1 instead of 0. So the index of the first page is going to be 1. This method too returns a promise, so we'll need another call to the then method. Now to render this page on our canvas, we will need a reference to the 2D context of the canvas. So first use document.getElementById to get a reference to the canvas. And then call its getContext method, passing 2D as an argument to it. This will get us the right context. Next, we need to know how big the page is. PDF.js gives you access to a viewport object that contains this information. To get the viewport associated with this page, just call the getViewport method. 
and pass 1 to it. This argument actually specifies the scale you want to apply to the viewport. 1 obviously means that we want the original size of the page. Using the viewport, we can now resize our canvas so that it has enough space to render the page completely. So make the width of the canvas match the width of the viewport. Similarly, make the height of the canvas match that of the viewport. Okay, now finally we can render the page by calling its render method. This method expects you to pass a JavaScript object containing two items. The first item must be the context of the canvas. The second item must be the viewport. And I think this is enough to render the page. So if I refresh my browser, I can see the first page being rendered correctly. This is awesome. Back in the code editor, I can simply change the number I pass to the getPage method to render a different page. So if I pass 2 to it, and refresh, I can see the second page. And if you think the text is too small, you can always zoom into the page by passing a larger number to the getViewport method. So if I pass 2 to it, the page will look much bigger. You can also rotate the viewport. For example, if I add another argument here saying 90, the page will be rotated 90 degrees clockwise. And if you pass minus 90 here, you will see the page rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Wonderful. That's all for now ladies and gentlemen, you know the basics of pdf.js now. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.